The following is from Fall 2011, Math 21, Test 2, Number 6. The processors of a computer manufacturer are supplied by three companies, 45% from A, 30% from B, and the rest from C. 45% uh, from A, 30% from B, uh, so far that's 75% from A or B, then the rest C is 25%. Uh, now, of those supplied by A, 1.5% are defective, by B, 2% are effective, by C, 2.5% are effective. Now, part A, construct a tree diagram of the situation. Now, we have three branching. The processors of a uh, computer man manufacturer supplied by three companies, company A, and company B, company C. Company A, from the information is there, 45% of them coming from A, supplied by A, 30% uh, supplied by B, and therefore the rest, 25% is by C. Now, of those supplied by A, 1.5% uh, of them are defective, uh, which means the good one will be 98.5%. Uh, Let me use G for good. And then, uh, from company B, 2% uh, are defective, which implies 98% are uh, the good ones. From C, 2.5% uh, defective, which implies 97.5% uh, are good ones. Okay, that's the three diagram. Part B, a processor is randomly selected. Find the probability that the processor is defective. We want to find the probability that if you select one processor at random, uh, randomly selected one processor, what is the probability that the processor that you randomly selected, uh, uh, randomly select is defective? Now, there are three ways to have that processor to be defective. Either this path here, this, which is probability that the def uh, processors from A and defective, plus the probability that it is from B and defective, plus the probability that it is from C and defective. Okay, now the probability that it is come from A and defective is given by the product of this 45% and 1.5%. From B and defective, it will be 30% times 2%. C and defective is 25% times 2.5%. Now, remember when you multiply percentage with percentage, I strongly, strongly recommend you to change them into decimal first. Okay? Always change them to decimal first. And then from there, you can use calculator. 0.45. Let me do it here. 0.45 times 0 0.015. That's 0 0.00675 plus uh, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 decimal places. Plus 25 times 25 is 625, 5 decimal places. And then when I add all of them, this uh, 0 0.00675 plus 0 0.006 plus 0 0.00625, I get uh, 0. Point, uh, 0.019 which means that's 1.9% chance you get something defective okay now 
we we do expect that the number will be between the smallest percent and the largest percent it will be between 1.5 and 2.5 okay and that's for the probability to get a defective uh, processor if you randomly select one now part c given a processor is defective find the probability that the processor is from c find the probability that the processor is from company c given that it is defective that's actually usually the challenge uh, in the real company suppose that you find some uh, processor is defective uh, which company you will call first to ask for return or refund or something okay and uh, this is uh, how we make that decision we find uh, the probability that uh, the defective processor is actually coming from company C now this is equals to the probability that uh, the processor is coming from C and defective over the probability that the processor is defective now from the top we happen to do the computation already the probability that it is from company C and defective is 0 0.00625 uh, of course that's a very small probability right but uh, the probability that the processor is defective is very small also now once you have a defective uh, processor which one you should go to now let's see this is point zero zero six two five divided by point zero one nine this is zero point three two eight nine five yeah i do the rounding to five decimal places right which means this is approximately this is equal to a thirty two point eight nine five percent if we make it into percentage okay well almost 33 percent approximately one third almost one third of the chance it comes from company c now if we look at the diagram again i hope you understand why we take less from company c because it has the higher uh, probability to be defective that's why we don't take that many from c okay now we take more from a That's for fall 2011, Math 21, Test 2, number 6.